So let us talk about vectors. So I'm going to explain everything you need to know under vectors using this question. So the question is saying, add vector A and vector B, given that vector A is 70 Newton in magnitude and directed at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to, post to positive x axis, and vector B is 50 Newton in magnitude at an angle of 110 degrees with respect to positive x axis. Okay. Part 1, find the resultant R, its magnitude and direction. Part 2, sketch the resultant vector R on an xy plane. Okay. So, the first thing that we have to know is uh, to first come up with a free body diagram of the vectors which have been given. And this free body diagram, we have to put them on an xy plane. So I'm going to have my xy plane this side. Okay. That is my xy plane. So the first vector A, let's start, let, let us first look at the angle. So the angle is 30 degrees. Then you have to check. Is 30 degrees in the first quadrant, second, third or fourth? It is in the first quadrant. So I'm going to put it in the first quadrant. Say so that is my vector. Hey, put an arrow because eh, you do not know where it is ending. So that's vector, vector m, being equal to 70 newton. And the angle is 30 degrees. Okay. Next, we are talking about eh, another thing, which is a, a vector b. So vector b is 50 newtons at an angle of 110. 110 is in the second uh, second quadrant. So I have to put it here. That's vector B, which is 50 newtons. So the angle, I will replace, I'm going to put it like that, 110 degrees. After doing that, you have to resolve each vector into x and y component. So let's start with x component. So the x component of the vector, let's start with a. So to resolve a vector into x component, we use cos. So it's going to be ax is equal to a cos theta. Now this is coming from, if I have something like this okay i have this is a triangle now this is a and this is a x it is in, in the x component and that's a y that means that i have got theta which is here okay so now what is happening here is a uh, I have, I want to use Sokatoa. So sine, sine theta will be equal to the opposite is Ay, the hypotenuse is A. So therefore Ay will be A sine theta. If I use cos theta, it's going to be, the adjacent is Ax, the hypotenuse is A. That's why Ax is given by A cos theta. So this is what we are going to be doing. In X we are using cos, in Y we are using sine. Okay. So I'll get rid of this. I was just trying to show you where we are getting the cos. Okay, so now we can clearly see that Ax will be equal to what is my A? So my A is 70, cos theta, what is my theta? My theta is 30. So AX will be equal to, I'll say 70 cos theta 30, which is 60.62, okay, Newtons. I'll leave it there. 
another vector which I have is b. I'll say bx is b cos theta and bx will be what is my b? My b is 50 cos the theta is 110 degrees. So bx will be equal to we'll say 50 cos 110 that is negative 17 negative 17.10 newtons. Another vector which we have is R. So Rx, I don't know. It's the one I want to find. Let us also go ahead and also resolve the vector into Y component. So resolving a vector into Y component, we have got A, Y, so it will be A sine theta a y will be equal to what is my a? My a is 70 sin 30. So what is 70 sin 30? Sin 30 is half. So half times 70 is 35 newtons. Let us go ahead and also find the vector b. So b x will be b or is b y, sorry. So b y will be equal to b sin theta by will be equal to what is my b? My b is uh, 50 sin theta is 110 degrees so by will be equal to 50 sin 110 degrees that is 46.98 if I round it off it's going to give me 47.0 Newtons. So now another thing is the same vector R which I want to find. I'll say R Y, then I'll put a question mark because I do not know what R Y is. Okay. Now we need to find R Y and R X. So R Y is the resultant, the addition of A X and A and, and B Y should give us R X. So I'll find I'll say R X is as a result of A X okay is as a result of ax plus bx so rx will be equal to my ax is 60.62 plus my bx is negative 17.10 so what is rx rx will be equal to 60.62 minus 17.10 so 60.62 minus 17.10 so i'm getting 43.52 so i'll put it here 43.52 newtons because it is in newtons i also need to go ahead and also find the ry so the ry is as a result of ay plus by so ay is what? Ay is 35. By is 47. So if I add these two, I'll be able to get 43.52 plus, okay? Oh no, I'm trying to add 35 plus 47. That is 82 newtons. After doing this, now I can get rid of the x component which I was finding here to create space okay so after doing this now I need to find the magnitude of the resultant but how do we tend to find the magnitude so the magnitude is given by the the square root of x squared plus y squared so in this case I'll say the magnitude of r I put an arrow on top because it is a vector okay so this arrow shows me that I'm dealing with vector. So the square root of the x component, so it will be r y x plus r y squared. Okay. So if I plug in the values, what are we going to have? We are going to have the r x is 43.52. I square it plus 82 squared. So r x is equal to 
43.52 squared plus 82 squared. So I'm getting 8,617.9904. So I'll just do direct the square root of this, which is 92.83 newtons. That is my resultant. Okay, the magnitude of the resultant. Now, we also need to find the theta, which is the direction. Okay, but how do we find the direction? So what I'm going to do, I want first us to shift this to be just here, or I can shift this. Okay, so uh, we have the RX and RY. So it's more like we have got the, hypot the opposite and the adjacent. So I've got my R here. The theta is there. This is my RX and that's my RY. So I can use tan. I say tan theta being equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So meaning that the theta itself, if I divide both sides by theta, it will be theta is equal to the tan inverse of Ry divided by Rx, like that. So if I plug in the values, tan theta will be, what is my Ry? My Ry is 82. Then that other one is 43.52. So theta will be equal to shift tan, open brackets, 82, I divide it by 43.52. I close the brackets. So the theta is 62.0, of which I can just say 62 degrees. That's the theta. But now, we should also take note to say, is theta is 62 degrees the angle which they are asking me to find? Let's first analyze. So, you should analyze two things. You have the x component of the resultant and the y component of the resultant. If the x component is positive, the y component is positive, definitely the angle has to fall in the first quadrant because in the first quadrant that's where we have positive y and the positive x so this is negative x this is negative y so if the angle falls in the first quadrant you get the theta as your answer it's done then if the x component is negative the y component is positive we can clearly see that if the x is negative the y is positive it falls in that quadrant which is the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, when you use this formula, plug in positive values only. Ignore the negative. So when you find the theta, you are going to say 180 minus the theta. That's the direction they are asking you to find. Okay? If you discover that the x component is negative, the y component is also negative, you ignore the negative, you plug in the value using this formula, then you are going for you to find the angle, you say 180 plus the theta which you have found here. If the angle falls in the third quadrant. Why are we not saying 270 minus the theta? Because the angle which we are finding, it is here. So if I do 270, I'm finding that angle, of which that is not the case. I'm trying to find the angle from this point until it touches that line. So that's why it's 180 plus the theta. If the x component is positive, the y component is negative, the angle falls in the fourth quadrant. In that case, you say 360 minus theta. Okay? So these are the basic idea behind vectors. So you have to know how to find the direction 
and also to know where where the angle falls is also important okay now that is it for the first part part two is saying sketch the resultant vector r on xy plane so how can we sketch the vector on xy plane which is it is basically the same thing which i've been doing like the free the the the, the free board diagram i gave you for those two vectors so now the angle is 62 degrees where do we expect to find 62 degrees it is in the first quadrant so then this is going to be put in the first quadrant okay so in the first quadrant i definitely know that it's not in between y and x or north and east but it is closer to north than east because it's 60 okay unless if the angle is less than 45 then it's closer to east the angle greater than 45 it is closer to north that's why the the the, the arrow here it is showing me that it's closer to i'll say r being equal to 92.83 newtons at an angle of 62 degrees so that is the sketching that they are looking for vector r so this is the basic idea behind vectors thank you